Hello Cancers, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. I do hope you are well. It is such a beautiful, vibrant and abundant, prosperous looking the outside today. I give thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you angels, spirits, guides, beloved ancestors for coming through and guiding this precious reading. I want to get some love messages for Cancer and I mean real deep love messages you know that's what i want to hear about if it is future love if it is current love just let's talk about love you know let's talk about love okay cancers welcome in remember that this is a general reading so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so we'll take what applies and the rest let it fly all right Remember that your energy is very, and your own intuition is very important in this reading. So gather yourselves together, welcome in, take a deep breath, feel the energy surrounding you, and let's get some accurate messages out for you, my beloved one. Let's talk about love for Cancer. Tell me about that Ace of Cups love for Cancer. Okay. Just let me, um, what is this? What is that one? What is this show? What is that energy? Please, ancestor. Some of you are shy. But the truth is, it is your shyness that sort of makes you uh, attractive. It is your, your shyness is your own natural essence. You know, that it's just a natural part of you. It makes you so radiant. <laughs> Your shyness is beautiful. I like it. I like the way you smile. It's true. It, and it comes through just you, your natural essence. Okay. And your shyness could still be connected to a lesson that you learned or something. And it makes you appear mysterious because your shyness tells me that uh, it tells me something about you, your smile, that you have strength or you have girth because you've been through something. And it, it makes me feel like you have a, a, a bit of mystery within you. Like, what are you capable of overcoming? Because you've overcome some things. Your smile says that. And it's that power that makes me feel like you smell. Oh, all right. That's it. I like your smile. I like your energy, your radiance, your shyness. It's you. It's your true beauty. Beauty. Okay. Hey, welcome in. Queen of Cups energy. Cancers. Let's talk about love. So someone is fighting for this love to come into you, to be able to stand in your presence. They want your attention. They want to be like a, an option, a choice. They want you, you to see them as such. And they're working hard. I feel someone going... <clears throat> And it's within their heart. Someone could have a cough, like some cough going on right now because they're working so hard. Maybe out in the sun sweating, you know, I don't know. It's that energy. But they're, they're in they're, they're, they have you on their mind when they're working. Hey, <clears throat> this person could be farming, tilling the soil, thinking about the future. The woman of the, or, or the man of their dreams, who they want to be living on this land with sometime in the future. Or how they want to show you their land. Okay, Cancer. That's love. Do you want to know who this person is? I don't really want to know, but do you want to know? Alright, let's go. I'm not sure what to do. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Who angel spirit guys seven of wands a queen of wands 
the energy this person did not want you to see that see who they truly are for example this person is a female but um they don't want you to see that. I feel like taking the card up and putting it back in the deck like and continue shuffling. Right? Who's the seven of wands? And that was a fellow look, another fire sign energy. What is the nine of wands energy? Nine of wands. What is the nine of wands? Oh my gosh. But, all right. The nine of wands feel like someone that's, they're doing their best, as I said, this fire sign to get your love or your attention or something. And then um, they're waiting, you know, like when you put in the work and they're expecting like, yeah, 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 no, it's my turn. Okay. It's my turn. No, but it feels like it's a bit hopeless and there's disappointment at the end. And this person kind of already has that vibration within their temple, like. I'm going to be disappointed but they're kind of they're trying to be hopeful so it's like it makes no sense because if you're not confident and you're majority hopeless then what's the point if the majority of your intention is I'm doing this because I feel hopeless or whatever it just don't work what is a 10 Sagittarius energy fire sign again this is telling me that this person is um after they get rejected or i'm not saying you may reject them and i'm just saying the hopelessness may cause that rejection to come to follow through for true because they have this hopeless feeling within them so it's like why even bother if you feel hopeless you're not ex exuding confidence and strength that this person will want to see so why even bother so it's after they get down or they get um, whatever, they're going to realize, oh, I need to do some work on myself. I need to heal. I need, something needs to be done. What is the temperance energy? I feel like the story is about to get sweet and saucy. All right. Oh. I feel like this person is realizing that they've been living in denial this whole time. <laughs> As if um, I haven't been telling myself the truth. I haven't been true. I haven't been telling the truth this whole time. Like this person is beginning to see who they are. What is the Eight of Swords? It's like this person fell out of a tree. Oh my God, I'm not laughing. It's not funny. If if you have a friend that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they may think they may like you, tell them to be careful about climbing trees. Because it's after they fall out of this tree that they're going to realize something that they were telling themselves some lies but in the end they're going to come to some truth with the sun energy coming out here a brand new this person is going to change and transform they may catch your attention now afterward but you're not at this point really focusing on this person but they may catch your attention when they begin to shine like the sun see another fire sign energy here turning up this person may um just become so vibrant or radiant and independent looking to you you're like hey what's going on over there because they're about to have an awakening when they whatever this injury is they're going to have an, a transformative awakening it's going to be so beautiful what is the sun card <sighs> it's not supposed to be about love but let's see who and what is the sun card maybe this person went and got surgery done or something because it's like they're coming brand new because some injury and then the sun energy this is a brand new face a brand new body or this person changed their hair color but something is different and it's especially within their energy field 
it's that rebirth energy too like you know you see a person that's so different you're wondering what changed but it's in their energy that's how this person is going to radiate and possibly shine on you cancer hmm. what is the sun card and then they may come around and offer you love of course you will see that no matter how brightly they shine they still have this puppy love for you so here they come trying to find you you didn't have to worry about that with the page of cups energy hey i haven't heard about i haven't heard from you in a long time what's up didn't you see me over here shining like the sun hey and you're like oh i saw you yeah what's up i saw you the other day and but you're still focusing on your goals here let's continue what is the page of cups okay then what is that Ooh, what is that this could be someone that you may find attractive cancerian this could be a, a fellow water sign cancer pisces scorpio or an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this is someone that's possibly coming in to you and this is a fire sign as well it's two fire signs i mean it's a water sign and a fire sign the page of cups the king of cups i mean the page of cups the page of wands all right, and then I saw the chariot energy and all of these beautiful cards. I'm going to ask about these two pages. Any other messages? Because cancer, I just look. <laughs> I was, I just feel like you're you're not really paying attention to either of these pages. Oh, you know, look at you. You're in strength mode. You're, you're in strength mode. Eh? You're focusing on something deep. You're using your intuition. You're manifesting something great. And it's because you're in strength mode. You are also on fire, which is Leo energy as well. You're also very attractive. Just in who you are. You're so beautiful, so graceful, so radiant, so charming, so captivating. Just in the light that surrounds you as you walk. And that light could be your smile, your energy, just you. You know who you are. That's just It's just purely you. You're attracting a lot of things just because of the vibration that is emanating from within you. You're working on yourself, all right? Let's look into more of this love connection. Who is the page of wands? Okay, I was asking for the page of wands, but I knew that it's the page of cups that wanted to be clarified first. So the page of cups want to come out and clarify the page of cups. What the heck is this? Angel spirits, guides, ancestors, please help me. What is this? What is this jack of cups? Or who is this? What is this energy? Someone returning? Is it someone returning to cancer? What is the four of wands? Oh, what is the Ten of Pentacles? It could be someone from your past that had made a promise to you that wants to keep their promise. It could be regarding money. All right. A fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And this connection possibly ended bad between two people. Because I see the Eight of Swords. Maybe this person was a bit manipulative. I'm not sure. Maybe this, maybe when um, the page of cups is the page of wands, maybe they're the same person. Maybe it's the past person wanting to appear in again. We see this energy a past person wanting to appear in front of you while you're trying to move on, and they're still coming in as. I don't know the audacity. They're still coming in as page. I just, I just can't. It's like they're not giving you all that you should be getting energetically. They're not. They're still holding back emotionally, and they're not really expressing their feelings. All of that. They're still stuck in low vibrational energy when it comes to intercourse. And these, ooh, these, ooh, I just this. So they may be coming to you. You know, I haven't heard from you in such a long, long time, and um, I just want to know if you're okay. But it, you know in the back of your mind that this person is just, this is all they're thinking about. But they think they can come at you from a different angle. 
Jesus. So dear them. Anywho, give me some other messages. Please. Look. As I'm saying, these people need to G-O. You know, they need to go. You know, some people need to. Some, some, you need to set some firm boundaries. I don't know why I'm being so, so I don't, as if people can't be who they are. And why are they coming to you as the Queen of Cups? I mean, who, 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 I mean, why can't people come to you as the Page of Cups, you know? As you sitting there as the Queen. Let them come. Why, why are we behaving in such a manner to people coming as the Page of Cups? It just makes no sense sometimes. Talk, talk to me about Cancer's love. That's what we came here to talk about. Your love could be an earth sign. Possibly. Possibly this is the person from your past. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who is the Page of Cups? An ex. Who is the ex? Who is the ex of sorts? An ex love. Who is the nine of cups? A water sign. Person you were living with, you had a happy home with. You wanted to build with this person. You were prob probably happy with this connection. This could be some something of a new connection, a future love that you want to dream up to. Maybe you are hoping to manifest something even more beautiful let's see we have some anyway let's continue with it what is the ten of cups what is the ten of cups hmm. cancer let's see who is the page of wands angels first types who is the page of wands oh my we do not say now that is where the Ace of Hearts come out. <laughs> this page of Wands. What is this Ace of Hearts? Ace of Hearts. Uh -huh. Wow. The Ace of Hearts. <laughs> you know, this is a player, player. Player, player. He's the ace of hearts. That's why you're not giving these people any attention. Really? Many of you, he would say, really? Okay, so I just feel like that kind of play, play energy. Like people know how to pull heartstrings. So they're going to come to you and say something. Ooh la la, mama mia, let me whisper in your ear. Mm, ma, ma, ma. And they think it's going to work. And they want to tell you how beautiful you're looking and how much they love you. And you are their all. And you're their everything. And they think it's going to melt your heart. I can't, I can't wait to, 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 to clarify what you're focusing on. I think you think this is... You're here for the show. You think this is kind of funny. I feel like you are here for this show. Alright? So that's good. So, um... <laughs> so... I want to know what you're focusing on. Do you want to tell? Okay, some of you are single. You're holding yourself back from love connections with others. No, you're really focusing on nurturing your heart. Look at you tending to your heart space. Okay, did I? I feel like I I I, I said enough about this ace, this player player energy with the page of cups that you blocked already. And are continuing to see as not a valuable part of your life because you had to run away or move away from this person energetically too so you can rebuild yourself and start having a vision for your future they, they, they they're like these ants they just keep showing up you're so sweet that that's what the pages feel like now you know but I don't know you're gonna have to create a moat around you a moat. You know what a moat is? When you when you're in your castle, that water that goes around the, the castle and then you there's a lot of crocodiles in it. Yeah. Not everyone can um reach you. Okay, let's continue. I wanna know where cancer is focused at this point. Hey Yay <laughs> Okay, 
So that's what we're waiting on. <laughs> All right, but hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We have to clarify because not because someone comes to you and appears as the king of cups. Well, let's see their energy first, you know. I feel like using some tarot. So you're focusing on this king of cups. Oh, this person, they love you. They're waiting on you. They're coming to you. Their heart is calling them to you. It's like they've made a vow or a commitment or a bl to bless themselves to you and to you. And I feel like if for some of you that are single and waiting for true love, that's, this is why you're doing it. Both of you are aligning to each other now. So males, I feel you could be waiting for your true love or there could be someone in your life that you already love so much for the males. You love this woman. I feel you could be married to her and you just continue adoring her over and over again. She's so precious. You love this woman. All right. That's for the males. It's so amazing. I love it. Mm. For the females, some of you are single and you're focusing on healing. You're focusing on re reviving your divine femininity. And I just feel healing on doing work across the earth and manifesting for yourself. And this is what you're doing to attract this beautiful king to you. You're not doing it on purpose. You're just being true. You're just being natural. And you're focusing on your healing and your well-being. And then all that is love and true to you is coming into your life. Let's clarify this king of cups. The five of cups. Okay, what is, what is the five of cups energy? What is the five of cups? Oh my goodness, the ten. This person is going to take it all the way to the top. I just wanted to say it before I lost the energy. Maybe it means something to you. They're going to take it all the way to the top. Every. Whew. All right, so this is the person you may start a family with. For some of you who don't have a family as yet, this is the person you're going to start building your life with, building your dreams. This is the connection in which you're going to feel like your dreams are coming true. You never believed that you could have had all of this. This is more than you've asked for. What is the Ten of Cups? Look, this is what you're focused in your energy, in your spirit, in your gut, in your intuition, ladies. This is where you're manifesting this love from. And it's coming from such a strong, highly spiritual place because you've manifested this through all of what you've been through. What is the Queen of Wands energy, Angel Spirits, guys? See, everything that you've gone through, the hills and the valleys and the speed bumps and the roadblocks and the mountains, the hills, the valleys, that you had to pull yourself up, over and through. It's all you. It's, it's, it's you know what I mean it's all you it has strengthened you in so many different ways spiritually physically it's all a part of who you are it has strengthened your ability to focus to manifest and to heal to heal others as well what is the five of swords what is the five of swords energy yes you are a healer you have ancestors on your side you're divine you're amazing. You have so much powers. Your true intuition is amazing. Any other messages for Cancer's Five of Swords energy? And what you hold, your, your true core values, you should really respect. Your talents and your gifts, your abilities to heal. You should put these into practice and bless the earth. So you should respect your gifts and your talents, all right? Practice them. Show them off. Connect. Heal your heart space. All right, these are the messages I have for love. Uh, 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 uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me talk. Anything else about this king? Oh, my goodness. I feel he's, he's attractive as well. So attractive. His eyes are beautiful, especially when he smiles. And he smiles a lot when he... When you're, as a female, when your presence, when he beholds your presence, you can feel his energy as a smile that wants to embody you. He's like the energy of the, the sun. He, 
it could be fire sign. All right. Any other messages about this person? I feel like I'm digging too much now. I should go. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I'm going to take a one from the tarot. What is the strength? Yes. What is the strength card? Oh, what is the two of swords? So you need, so there needs to be aligning with your focus, ability, your intuition, your intention, your powers, your true gifts, your internal self, your healing, your well-being. All of your attention should really be focused on your path, on your mission, on your well-being. Not on what happened in the past. But on where you are going. What is the strength energy tarot? Certain things to be released so you can reclaim your true place as a well being. It's your birthright, I feel. And you need to start reflecting over your life so you can uh, become a master of your manifestations. You're, you're going to heal, you know. If you're going through this pain and sadness right now, it's not lasting forever. Nothing lasts forever. I do feel that you'll stop crying. You'll stop hurting. You're going to get up and, continue and move forward. And then you're going to start taking actions a little by little, day by day, until, until you, I feel you're going to step, be stepping in your power. What is the Nine of Swords? See, look, working on yourself and stepping in your power, confidence, beautiful, just super flawless and amazing, visualizing. All right, I love you. Thank you so much, Cancer, for coming through. I love your energy. Thank you so much for sharing your energies with us, Collective Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I appreciate you. I appreciate your likes, shares, comments on this channel so if you haven't already go ahead and hit the like button to leave a compliment behind on this channel let youtube know you enjoy messages like these and you'd love to see more of my content if you have not already go ahead and subscribe subscribe to my channel share the videos with those you love also if you have any questions want any clarification for personal readings check the description box for uh to find out how to reach me email me basically all right thank you so much remember that you are all and all is within you and i'll see you next time can't say much love take care bye